Happy No Nut November, everybody. Let's raise that Kundalini energy, get more stamina, more productivity, and just have an overall better life. Come on. All right. So, how did all this start, right? This word no fap, right? Let's just define what this means and how we can really get the most out of this practice. Uh, you know, in yoga, this starts with the word brahmacharya. Let me just look it up on Wik Wikipedia for you real quick. Brahmacharya is a concept with Indian religions that literally means conduct consistent with Brahma in simple terms of the path of Brahma. Brahmacharya is different from the English term celibacy, which merely means non-indulgence in sexual activity. Brahmacharya is, a, is when a person controls his chitta, which does not necessarily mean abstaining through word, thought, and deed, or physical sensual pleasures to achieve the Brahmagan. In one context, Brahmacharya is first of the four ashrama, age-based stages of a human life. We go from the householder, the forest dweller, sannyasi, renunciation, and being other three ashramas. The Brahmacharya bachelor student stage of life from childhood up to 25 years of age was focused on education and included the practice of celibacy. In this context, it connotes chastity during the student stage of life for the purpose of learning from a guru teacher and during later stages of life for the purpose of attaining a spiritual liberation which is also known as moksha liberation so that's what we're talking about here it's november it's time to raise that energy up the spine what we call kundalini right that's something that is very important especially in your early ages right especially if you're in high school college if you're in your late teens early 20s this is a powerful yogic technique that is going to help you in all aspects of life let me tell you about my experiences I was brahmacharya uh, for about four years I took a vow of celibacy um, I had no masturbation no pornography no sexual relations with uh, any women men nothing whatsoever it was extremely challenging I'm not gonna lie um, and that's why I'm excited about this November uh, no nut challenge because that's what we're talking about here we're really talking about an ancient yogic technique and in my opinion this is extremely valuable to learn about your higher self to learn about the soul the atman to get you connected with all aspects of life to really get the most out of what we call human existence brahmacharya is a very important path that we all need to take to control that chitta the life force energy that is traveling up and down the spine let's talk about the chakra system a little bit if for those of you who don't know about the chakra system there are seven chakras starting at the point between the anus and the genitalia, that is the base root chakra, red, orange, yellow, green for the heart chakra, blue right here in the throat, indigo at the anya, the pineal gland, the third eye, and the crown chakra opening up to that higher consciousness. What happens is energy travels up and down the spine and through ejaculation, this is for both men and women, it is spilled, energy is spilled out of our second chakra. And this is not good. Over time, that creates energy blockages. It doesn't allow energy to fully travel up and down the spine into these higher chakra centers. What we need to do is develop a practice, a discipline, a lifestyle that gets you motivated so you don't have to get into that addictive uh, pornography and just spilling the energy out of the second chakra. This is nothing against sexuality. This is not about uh, restriction in any way. This is actually quite the opposite. This is about channeling that sacred energy up and down the spine and getting the most out of human life because let's be honest when we all ejaculate and when you have that you know night of pornography or whatever's happening you're pretty tired you're not going to get a lot of energy you're not going to really get uh, productive the next day right so you have to do this very consciously this is about controlling and having a semen retention practice. In my opinion, this is very valuable and will help you in all aspects of your life, including business, romantic, anything that you want to do in your life can use a little bit more energy, right? So let's be conscious about this and let's talk about a few techniques for you to really learn how to practice this no fat November and get you to increase that energy, stamina, vitality, strength, testosterone. I mean, we can prove this in so many ways. I just wanted to give you a little scientific data and talk about how this is a very ancient practice. This is thousands of years old. This is nothing new here. Let's just get popular. Let's make this popular. No fap November, no nut November. Use the hashtags, use the challenge hashtag. I wanna see this in all of your posts on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube right here. Spread the word, tell your friends, tell your family, anybody who's struggling with, you know, 
energy loss or having a, a foggy brain, right? Anybody who is not getting to those aspirations or goals that they're looking for, pornography or some sort of, uh, you know, addiction to the body is what's keeping them from achieving those goals. So what do we need to do? Have that kundalini practice. Get the energy traveling up and down the spine in a very conscious way. And you, in order to do this, you need to practice semen retention. This is so important. And again, this doesn't mean restriction. You're gonna feel excited, you're gonna get aroused. And when you do, really bring that energy up the spine. Use that meditation practice. Use that conscious breathing technique in order to fully bring the energy up the spine into these higher chakra centers and then bring it back down. The goal here is to have an even energy pathway going up and down the spine. There is two energy pathways, the ilda and the pendula. This is an invisible energy pathway that's going up and down the spine. This needs to flow freely. That is what we would call kundalini. When that energy is flowing freely up and down the spine, that's when you get the most active lifestyle. That's when you just feel lit, you feel excited, you're in your passions, and you just want to share with others the beauty of this human existence. So please join me for the challenge. Join me for this 30 days of no fat, no pornography, no masturbation. That's for the ladies too. Really get the most out of your life here. Study the yoga uh, sutras, right? Get into the Bhagavad Gita. Start reading what it means to be a yogi. Start getting a conscious, active lifestyle. That's what this is all about. That's what No Fap November is all about all about no nut November, whatever you want to call it. The point is we are controlling our life force energy. We're getting that energy traveling up and down the spine in a very conscious way. That is the goal here. Remove all of those blocks. The more energy that you have, the more energy you're, you're getting into your physical body, the more you can remove those blockages that are happening when it comes to this energy practice. So no fat November is here guys. It's November. Share the hashtag, share this video, talk about it. And and let me know your experiences. Let me know how you guys are doing right here in the comment section below. This, uh, you know, November is going to be a very important time for you to stay on the path. And again, tell your friends, tell everybody who wants more energy. We all want more happiness, right? We want to feel better. This is going to clear your dopamine out. This is going to clear your entire serotonin response and just how you view life, right? It's just going to be an overall increase in your productivity and happiness level. So I ensure you, you're going to get results from this. I did this for over three years. I still practice in a very conscious way. This is something that I'm gonna be joining all of you as well on No Fap November so we can raise that kundalini energy and get the most out of human life. Thank you so much, everybody. Share the hashtag, share this video. Let's get everybody on this semen retention practice, this conscious awakening right now that is happening on planet Earth. Let's get disciplined about this. Let's increase our vitality, stamina, strength, all for the name of love. That's what we're doing here. We're rising to the unconditional love state, getting away from that pro, uh, programmed, codependent relationships. This is gonna help you in every aspect of your life. I guarantee it. I can't wait to see what you guys' results are. I can't wait to you know read about the comments and read all about what you guys are experiencing. So I'm gonna stop yapping right here and just end this video. Thank you so much for being here. Much love. Peace.